let's go. Now this is this is Mar Draco, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wargaming employee playing the game. Who knew that wargaming players or war employees actually play the game? Did huh? you ping him? I'm gonna ping him right now. He said he was gonna be out of town, but I will ping him anyways. Oh. Mar Draco is such an awesome dude. Let me tell you. Not only does he play the game, not only is he a wargaming uh, player and developer, but he also is a uh, tier one or two Patreon, uh, which is fantastic. He wants some help, he wants some assistance, and he wants me to feature more of his games. So as part of my, my Patreon, I do feature games, and here it is. And he's just a straight nice guy. Oh, like, he's one he's of the nicest guys ever. Nice guy. He is He is one of the nicest guys ever. Look at this. He's using, of all things, ranked gold camouflage on this sub. Have you ever seen this? Oddland with the resub. Thank you, Oddland. Look at the gold. Look at the gold sub camo. I mean, what the hell? That looks sexy as hell. Oddland, thank you for the sub, dude. If you've got a uh, replay you want me to feature for you, Oddland, let me know. Stormflight, same thing for you. And Matthew, same thing for you, okay? Let's make this happen. All right, we, have, we are 40%, 39% to through level two with three minutes to go in our hype train. Can we get there? So now we know what gold member looked like. He's just flexing on the surface ships. Oh my god, he is flexing on the surface ships, yes, because he plays the game enough to get ranked gold camouflage. Now this or it is could just be that he's a wargaming employee. Uh, well, so funny story about that. They're actually not allowed. <laughs> they're not allowed to invoice things on their own personal accounts. Oh. No, they are not. There is one perk that wargaming employees have, and that is that they get. I don't remember. It's three hundred or five hundred doubloons a day. One of those two. It's three hundred or five hundred doubloons a day. But they are not allowed to invoice things on their own account. A day. A day. Nice. So. Funny story, Viserio was bragging about how many doubloons he has because he gets doubloons every day, and then I showed him my account. Did he cry? No, he called over his friends in Russian, and they all started talking in Russian very frantically. What? Ah. Because <laughs> we were out at a bar having drinks in St. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> so that's right, guys. I flexed over a wargaming de developer. <laughs> Stormflight, and anti-air defender and ASW expert, a good skill for Dutch cruisers. It's okay, but I don't think it's necessary, personally. Uh, you t isn't that the one that improves your uh, reload time? I thought that improves the anti-air strength. I could be wrong, though. If it's the one that improves anti-air time, are you saying it's good, then? Um, not the anti-air time. The airstrike time. Let me double check. If it helps you reload your airstrike quicker, it does. It it is nice for that. Absolutely correct. Smog is why the economy oh. nerfs are incoming. Sorry, classic. Probably. Nope. I'm thinking of the two point skill. So a defense a SW experts the four point skill. Ah. That one's only for AA and death charges. So it won't help either. So it's not worth it, Stormflight. What are you doing, Mar Draco? By all count, we're get we're getting a better economy. At least that's what. Well, we'll see, Nifty. That's what that's what they said in the dev blogs. All right, we're down to fifty seconds left on our hype train. We're at level two. Can we get to three? And I like how you're just sitting here. Look at this. You are capping. The enemy sub is there too. Oh, he just hit you with the ping. And you hit him with torpedoes. <laughs> oh my god and he submerged you can tell he submerged because wait no he didn't submerge you're submerging okay you dropped a replay of a game super ph and i were in but it's his replay okay whether they change that up is for debate, but as it stands right now, anyway. Got it. All right, well, level one high train success. Thank you very much for participating, those of you that did. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> You've heard of tit for tat, but what would you call it? I don't know, whiskey. <laughs> uh, you just poked up and look, a wild gearing appears. I'm sure you definitely wanted to see this, considering nobody's here to help you.
So there you go. Trying to back off. Choo Choo says Whiskey Venom. Thank you for being the conductor to our hype train there, Venom. And look at all those depth charges. Now, in the dev blog, those depth charges are going to become even meaner. At least the air dropped ones. I think this, the ship dropped ones will too. The ship drop ones are going to be much uh, stronger. Air drop ones, not much change. Well, as they should be, because if you're going to risk your life to go and depth charge a sub, then you should kill the damn sub. <laughs> Uh, if I remember when I calculated it, it increases the area threefold for surface drop depth charges. Ah, okay. Okay. Alright, so Mar Draco is continuing to reverse out of B cap. I would agree with this play. There's really nothing you can achieve staying there other than dying. Uh, I would have preferred to just accelerate forward. I was also, just going to mention that, yes. You should be turning forward and getting out of there. Yep, and I also think he t uh, used his DCP a bit early. He did, because he came under fire and flood and oil slick and whatever else, too. So. And I would... Oh, you're hydrophoned. Pop your hydrophone, detect him. There he is. All right, we got ourselves a U571 style sub battle as you just got hit why is your hp being restored huh uh he has loot gents on oh right because he detected an enemy that's right healing 3k hp is actually quite significant it too. is it is so that was underwater fireworks that we missed lol uh, water fireworks now dcping at the right time there you're changing your altitude your, your depth you saw the torpedoes coming, you DCP'd so the torpedoes lost homing, and you dodged. Beautiful work right there. Oh look, a gearing. I'm sure uh, this is exactly what you wanted to see. Yes. Actually, he can just put six torpedoes into him, it'll kill him. He's gotta keep backing up, and then he's gonna have to... Uh, a surface again. And what the hell is this, with, the, with this uh, view here? Uh, you've gone to crash depth. You've gone all the way deep, as deep as it can go. Gearing is dropping depth charges. Wouldn't underwater fireworks be explosion with your sub? Uh, details, details, raining, details. Um, oof. And down you go. So, I think the biggest mistake was you didn't take the opportunity to run when you had it. But, now we have a sub-death pick, so I'm, I'm okay with a sub-death pick, you know? Let's get your killer in the foreground, in the background, I should say. Also, when you were surfacing at the end, I think you had a decent chance of uh, still shotgunning the destroyer. So at that point, instead of going down to crash depth, instead what you do is you switch to torpedoes and pray. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he might have been distracted by something else. I forget if he was atta attacked at that point, but you could have uh, mm. attacked him at that particular instance when he was distracted and maybe get six torpedoes into him. Cringe music, perfect thing for the cringe that is subs. Thanks, Blitz Those. How you doing, by the way? Alright, Chad, I'm out of dirty water. Moving on to clean water. Alright, Mar Draco, so... Um... Hopefully that was some good feedback for you. I don't know what else there is to give you feedback on. Your division mate has also died. Killed by the Minotaur, unfortunately. That's an oof. I think the biggest takeaway is don't go someplace by yourself in the sub. Um, as soon as you saw everybody else was leaving, I think you'd be better off going towards A or C. And what I would do is I'd look at the minimap to see which side the enemy was focusing on and most likely to push through. In this case, that's Charlie, and I'd head north to Charlie. I don't think I would sit in B cap like you did. I will agree with that. The sub is supposed to go around and attack other ships. Just sitting in B cap, that's better left for destroyers, which, uh, which you're not. 
And you like, need- you can easily use your speed, underwater speed, get behind the enemy, and mm-hmm. just start wreaking havoc. And you need somebody else to be spotting for you, too. And when that isn't happening, well, you saw what happened. You jumped up and surfaced right in front of a gearing and said, oh, crap. Uh, so that happens. You're playing ranked at a weekend, so not so good. Blitz those. Best of luck, sir. I salute you. So that's going to be game. I mean, there's really no coming back from that. So hopefully that gave you feedback. There it is.